Wool is a warm textured fabric that is great for making coats, jackets, skirts, and trousers. Our tips will make your first venture with wool a successful one. Problems that can arise with wool are, its thickness can cause bulkiness, it can shrink, its texture may sometimes be unappealing against skin. The most important thing is choosing the right pattern. Pick designs that suggest using wool or are more on the simple side without a lot of details to it. This will ensure less bulk overall. Wool can come in many different weights and blends. It's important to pay attention to the care instruction recommendations as some wool may be dry clean only. Unless it's labeled pre-shrunk or needle ready, wool needs to be pre-shrunk before cutting. Either have a dry cleaner do this for you, apply a lot of steam, or throw in a dryer with a damp towel. Also, it's a good idea to purchase a little extra fabric if you need to pre-shrink your wool. When cutting your pieces, you wanna consider the fabric's weight. If it's on the thicker side, consider cutting pieces on a single layer of fabric. Cut with sharp dressmaker shears, or even better, use a rotary cutter for more accurate cutting. Wool can come as a woven or a knit, but it's recommended to use a ballpoint needle so it slides between fibers. Also use a higher needle size for heavier weight fabrics. For a thread, you can use an all-purpose or silk thread. If using a thicker wool, consider using fabric clips instead of pins to hold pieces together. When it comes to sewing machine settings, practice on scraps. You may wanna use a longer stitch length like a three. You might also want to increase your thread tension and lower the presser foot pressure. If you can't lower the presser foot pressure, you can use a walking foot to ensure the fabric isn't being squeezed and is moving evenly. For thicker fabric seams, use a hump jumper or folded up fabric. Place it under the presser foot behind the needle and this will even out the foot so the fabric moves through the machine without getting stuck. Seams should be as flat as possible. Don't do seams like a French seam or seams could become stiff and bulky. 100% wool shouldn't fray so you can press them flat without finishing them. If they're a wool blend, there may be some fraying and raw edges can be pinked. If you want unfinished edges covered, consider inserting a lightweight lining. This will also help if the wool has a little bit of a scratchy texture. Be careful when pressing as high heat can scorch fibers. Make sure to put the iron on a wool setting and use a press cloth between the iron and fabric, or you can use steam and use a tailor's clapper to press. When it comes to interfacing, if your wool fabric is dry clean only, use a mid-weight sew-in interfacing. Wool fabric can create some beautiful garments that can also be pricey. Make sure you're treating it right so your projects come out wonderful. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.